What's this nonsense about needing a password to see Lord Cardigan today? Relax. I've got it in my pocket. Look sharp, men. Allow no one past unless I authorize them. Cardigan has gone too far this time. I've a mind to contact Scotland Yard myself. Come now, gentlemen. I thought us united in opposition against this perfidious law. The government is failing its people. The breed like animals help us suffer from poverty. Not us. Enough now. Just a That's unforgivable. Balaclava. Of course it bloody is. Thank you. 
was up to I just now. need to get inside. No need for this to get messy. All right, all right. Just don't hurt me. Pardon me, gentlemen. Sergeant Freddy Aberline of Scotland Yard. Where might this scandalous activity be taking place? Oh, yes, yes, it's up. Uh, just this way. Follow me, Sergeant, but discreetly, if you would. One doesn't like to be seen airing a fellow member of Parliament. I'll be very discreet. Usually I would be in disguise, but my clothes all fell into the Thames. One of my favorite disguises is a very ancient old lady, modeled after my mother. You'd be surprised how convincing I am. I'm a member of Parliament, you cretin! No password, no passage, sir. Blind against the wall and shot! And deservedly so. Password. Balaclava. Come in. Ah, Minister Hacker. One moment. Dashed paperwork will be the death of us, what? Give me a stout horse and a saber and I'd have this government running as smoothly as Henley Regatta. Hmm? Blood needs must and all that. 
Let's see. Ah, sign here. Now then, <clears throat> let's discuss this like je Good God! Who the bloody hell? Oh, shut up. <laughs> should fall not on the glory fields of Crimea, but to an assassin's blade in the very halls of power. Are you finished yet? Take your bow, knave, for you have managed what no Russian battery, what no Indian tiger could achieve. Claim your trophy, and may you choke on it. Yes, but do tell me more about Balaclava. Farewell. Farewell, dear Britannia! Your dawn shall be dimmer that the Earl of Cardigan sees it not. God save the Queen and the Eleventh Hussars! What a prick. Apart from the death squad on our tail, apart from that. Backup's on the way. Why are you pushing yourself so hard? It's not your job to fight Templars. I had this colleague. He was our boss's son. I didn't much care for him at the start. Everyone treated him like he was so bloody special. To me, he just wasn't invested in, in, in anything that didn't affect him personally. But I was wrong about him. He became my friend put himself through hell, and he saved us all in the end. So, I reckon, well, I can't apologize to him, but I can, I don't know, I can try and live up to his example. You are a good assassin. Holy jeez! Hello. It has been too long. Galena! I mean, I have not seen you since we blew up that lab in Paris. Uh, there were many explosions, and you screamed like a baby. Bishop tells me also Berg is here. I will kill him for you. Super. Great news. Now, if you wouldn't mind keeping watch, I am going to lie down and die now. Rest. We have a big fight coming. Sean and Rebecca are safe for now, but we're still relying on you to find us that shroud. <laughs> 